Hi Virgo, I'm Brenda and I'm here today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the month of June 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos. As you know, this is strictly a general reading, so I welcome and invite you to go up there and press that button and it will take you to my website. If you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So you'll get to see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a Reiki session. Okay, Virgo, let's start off our first week of June. You have been given at the beginning of that first week the Ten of Earth. And Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, and often that has to do with our jobs, careers, and professions, and how we bring that currency in. But it also has to do with our immediate families and people uh, that, you know, maybe some of you are dealing with a nature and eco uh, situation because it is the Earth card. <clears throat> This shows me, though, that things are pretty grounded uh, and you're pretty balanced right now and things are in alignment when it comes to your family life. I do see that for some of you, you are also very secure right now or in a good place you have enough financially. For others, I see that um, things are working out for you. There may have been a difficult time uh, that you were struggling with when it came to your relationship and your family life or your finances and you need to know things are going to improve and get better. Even though you've reached a point, some of you, where you are at that point of being very comfortable in both, please know that the universe sends you out a message that you need to still find the magic in little things in life. Don't uh, rely always on things that cost a lot of money. Those big major material things to bring you long-standing satisfaction. We buy them, we get them, we look at them, we enjoy them for a while and then we lose interest and we're, you know, we pay a high cost for that. But it's the little things in life that we never forget. We always go back to the hungry years. We always go back to those memories when we didn't have as much. What did we do then that made us happy? And those are the memories we often remember the most. So. The universe is telling you that you need to find the magic in the little things in life. In the middle of the first week of June, you've been given a nine of fire. And fire cards have to do with, uh, you know, setting our creative juices in motion. They have to do with, um, you know, uh, our own personal self-development and going places we normally wouldn't go sometimes, those leaps of faith, taking risks we normally wouldn't take. This is all about you protecting what you've what you've created and developed, Virgo. Uh, you may be um, at a point right now where you uh, are feeling threatened by someone who wants what you have. They watched you work very hard for what you have and they want the easy way out. They want to ride on your, on your coattails, but don't allow that, okay? Don't give up, okay? Don't roll over. Protect what you've created. Um, I do see some of you are dealing with challenges right now uh, that you're finding uh, difficult and they're starting to wear you down. Uh, again, um, you need to have courage and believe in yourself uh, and continue to stay strong, okay? Have faith, my friend. Don't give up. You worked hard for what you have and you're not about to give it away without, uh, you know, um, I, want, I don't want to say without a battle and a fight. But stand up, okay, stand up for your cause. For some of you, it may have to do with legal issues and the disbursements of property uh, or finances. And uh, the other party is being greedy and wanting more than they actually deserve. So, you know what? You stand your ground, my friend. At the end of the first week, Virgo, you've been given um, a, uh, a interesting message from the Ascended Masters Oracle deck, and it is let go. So often I tell people, it's let go, let go, let God, let the universe, uh, let source take it. Throw it out into the universe and say, I've dealt with it enough, I've carried the load enough. Here, you can have it, and I trust that you'll handle it. Uh, or send me the guidance uh, that I need to uh, continue forward on my positive path. So let things go. If um, It doesn't do us any good when we uh, don't, uh, when we harbor those ill feelings towards someone else, let me put it to that way, or we harbor, uh, you know, uh, judgment and harsh feelings towards someone. Um, 
let it go because it's us that's carrying that negative energy. They've gone off on their happy old little merry way and we are left behind feeling these horrible uh, feelings. So let it go, my friend, because what it does is it'll free you. It'll make you feel so much lighter and better. So any situation or any person or any, uh, you know, any harsh feelings that you have towards uh, this, you've got to send it out into the universe and let it go. At the beginning of the second week of June, you've been given a great card, though. You've been given the chariot. And the chariot's all about saying, wow, I finally got through this. Pat yourself on the back, my friend. Uh, you made an achievement, okay, uh, over a very, um, and you balanced a very challenging situation. So sit back and smile and uh, at what you've accomplished because it's only been because of your own sheer discipline and uh, your own willpower that you've been able to do this. Um, it's as though people are going to uh, commend you now and you're going to get the accolades of people's attention and comments in a positive way towards you. Uh, they're going to be saying, wow, congratulations, you worked hard for this, you fought for this very long and hard and you deserve this, uh, this uh, attention and positive, uh, you know, um, uh, energy coming into you at this time. I do see also that some of you may be traveling, uh, and it will involve many different modes of transportation, cars, planes, um, you know, they just showed me horseback riding. Uh, some of you uh, are obviously planning uh, a trip somewhere, and it may be in a country where things are different, and you may be riding very different kinds of vehicles or mode of transportation. You've been given in the middle of that second week, the King of Earth. And this has to do with things getting better on your path. Things are going to improve now. Um, I do see that there's going to be some opportunities coming into you, some offers coming into you, uh, some um, proposals coming into some of you. Some of you may have to do with your place of employment. Uh, others that may have to do with legal issues in court. Um, and again, I say the disbursements of properties or monies. I do see it will work out in your favor. Um, I do see that you need to accept these opportunities these, that are being offered to you because you, this is the Midas Touch card that says you're going to land on your feet and come up smelling like roses. So please know that the universe and source is sending you this message that everything's going to work out in your favor. Don't be afraid to accept this opportunity you've worked hard for. <clears throat> At the end of that second week of June, you've been given this oracle card, and it's listen. <clears throat> so basically that's <clears throat> keeping the throat chakra quiet at times and knowing when to speak and not to speak. And I share these chakras with you because I am, a, I, I do, uh, you know, I teach Reiki, and I'm a Reiki practitioner and master, and I love to fall back on those chakras. Listen, 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 okay? It isn't, isn't always with your ears. It's being able to... Uh, sit silent and watch and listen the whole picture. So um, it's often when we go to the silence and we do listen, and that can refer to meditation too, taking yourself to the silence. Uh, we get the answers to our questions that we haven't been able to get answers to. So sit back before you jump in uh, and uh, maybe uh, say things you shouldn't say until you've heard the whole story. <clears throat> Don't jump to conclusions, my friend. Nine of Earth for the beginning of the third week of June for you. And this is showing me that now um, you're going to be uh, able to sit back and look at uh, where you've come to this point through that month. You've had some challenges to deal with and uh, individuals around you stirring the pot up and you having those uh, that negative uh, drama brought in. Uh, know that now you're going to be able to enjoy uh, what's coming into you now. I do see some of you will have a better income. Some of you will have a nest egg. Some of you will be able to invest a little bit of money for your future. Um, I do see those that are self-employed. You are working very hard, and you're now going to be able soon to see the, the, the benefits of your hard work uh, in the form of um, uh, profit. Um, you know, it could have to do with the numbers of the clients that you have, the, whatever product you're selling uh, out there. It, I do see you're going to be uh, getting uh, the benefit of more money coming in in your income. Uh, this is a good time for you uh, right now, this the third week of June, my friends. So enjoy life's little luxuries that you've worked hard for. <clears throat> it's starting to show now and pay off. You've been given the Queen of Air for the middle of that third week, and I love this card. 
this is all about you being able to make decisions, but you're going to be making them objectively. Okay, you have, uh, you're, you're able to do this now, and you're clearing away what doesn't serve you anymore, and that may be people that you've had around you. You're walking away now and holding your head up and going solo. It could have to do with uh, just the energy that people bring into you uh, that you need to clear away. It could have to do with actual material things that you're getting rid of. Uh, you're downscaling or you're simplifying your life or you're saying, you know what, this has too many memories attached to it uh, or when did I ever use this last or do, does this serve me right now at all anymore in my, in, my, in my future on my path. And you're going to get rid of it. And when you do, you're going to feel so good about it. It's like you're going to say, why didn't I do this a long time ago? What have I been waiting for? Why did I drag my feet? I needed to do this. I needed to clear my airspace. I needed to do that to allow the positive energy to come in. At the end of the third week, your oracle card you've been given is, you can do it. How ironic. So, you know, the beginning of the month, it was let it go. Okay, stop worrying about it. And then it was sit back and listen, watch where you've come, and now you can do it. So don't be afraid. Uh, these opportunities coming down the path, like the King of Earth talked about, uh, it may have to do with business opportunities. Uh, it may have to do with uh, relationship opportunities. Whatever they are, you can do it. Any challenges coming into you by the end of the month, you're going to pretty much be able to handle. If it's been financial burdens, you're going to be able to clear them. If it's uh, relationship problems, you've got rid of that negative energy. So now you can move forward. The beginning of the final week, uh, Virgo, of June, you've been given a fire card and you've been given the Ace of Fire. And so this is your second fire card. You had one the first week and now one at the final end of the week. And this is about an exciting opportunity coming into you, to some of you. And it is about advancement with your career. So I do see some of you, uh, perhaps uh, you have decided to take, um, you know, a proposal that's been given to you, uh, a new part of your job where you have more control over what you do. Uh, perhaps some of you are going to be the head of a department. <clears throat> Some of you are going to be able to <clears throat> move forward with your career because you've worked very hard for it and you deserve this. It will change your life, absolutely, because it's a positive change. It's going to be more money. It's going to be more uh, benefits coming into you uh, that you have asked for. And I do see that you're very excited about it. And it's a good move, my friend. In the middle of the final week of June, you've been given a major card, and this is awakening. And this is about looking at things from a different perspective and taking a different approach. Uh, there may have been a standstill, or there may be a little bit of a pause right now while you're tweaking how you deal with the situation. So, um, you know what? It's important to remain yourself. Do not allow other people to rain on your parade, ride on your tail, your, your coattails, or diminish your light okay and your and your ideas right now you need to uh know that you have the power within yourself okay to do what it is you want to do so look at things from a new perspective now and it take a different a different approach to things okay but it will there will be a bit of a pause if you've been making plans be, while you're doing this now at the end of that first week of june you've been given this oracle card work your magic so this is all about you knowing your strengths and knowing your weaknesses and being able to separate them and, and relying on what you're good at, okay, relying on your strong points. So you can go out there, stand up on your platform and work your magic and, as I would say, work that room and uh, you do it very well. So don't back down. Um, you are going to be doing things differently now. Your life is moving for some of you in a different direction. Um, I do see this month has been a great month for you. So, you know what, let things go in the beginning of the month. If uh, you're getting into some challenging uh, people around you and they're bringing that drama into your life, walk away from it. Uh, but sit back and listen. <clears throat> okay, listen to the silence and listen to yourself and where it is you want to go. And know that you have the strength to move forward and to do it, okay, and work that magic, baby, because you've got it within you, Virgo, to do that. I wish you a great remainder to today, my friend, and a very, very optimistic month of June to look forward to. I'll see you again in July, and know that I continue to stand in this circle of light for you.